Hi, I'm Warak Dice, back with more Let's Play the Legendary Axe. Uh, let's save here. Yay, gauntlets. Um, also, I tried to fix uh, my recording screen, and because I saw that it tracked a small line. Um, in it, but I don't know if there's a way. It really comes up in a really goofy resolution, so I don't know how to fix that. Um, I tried changing some of my resolutions on it, but eh, it doesn't work out that well. Um, also, it takes forever to save this goddamn game. I'm hoping to get it done in this episode, because it took me honestly like five minutes to save the stupid thing, just because it's in such like a funny resolution. Oh, I went back. Okay, so we know not to go straight twice. Right. Hopefully this is better. Okay, well this might be it. Maybe you have to clear out all the rooms or something. I don't remember how to do this stupid thing. No, you get back here, Frogman. No, you will not play this game. Oh, now you're coming up there. Jerk. Any more of you? Am I, am I safe to proceed? I also think recording long, like, half an hour sessions of it isn't very helpful because it's got so much going on in it. Like, Police Knots only takes, like, not even a minute to save. Um, but I think because this has so much going on in it, plus the goofy resolution, I think that, uh, ugh. so you get rid of one of you. I think you're supposed to go straight here, because those eyeballs intentionally make it hard for you to do it. I mean, at least a full-powered axe kills them in one hit helpful during the boss fight, but you can't get everything you want. Okay, good K. Oh, these things. Ugh. Get out of my face. I've never figured out a good way to avoid these. It's frustrating too because they turn into bats. Oh, thank you for giving me so much. Ugh, not these guys. everything at me. Alright. Made it through that part of the gauntlet. 
Jump Strike, your friend. It's like the neck kick in Mortal Kombat mythologies. Sub Zero one. Apparently, you can like neck kick 90% of the bosses and without getting hurt if you're careful. Fun. I don't know what it was, it was like six or seven when I first played this, something like that. So being a frustrated, angry little fat kid doesn't help in playing a game that can be as frustrating as this one. I'm always speculative before picking up health, because I always know that there has to be a trap, like, right nearby. Or just a whole bunch of those douchebags. That's how you do it. Alright, let's just, just, just get through this. I think this one's down. But we'll see when you go through here, because I'm an L. I think it's like Q you have to get to. Oh shit, there are a lot of them. I like the convenient bats that flutter overhead. Okay, good. I'm safe for the moment. might have been a wrong way, just because they gave me a ladder. Wait a minute, was there anything else over there, or was it just a wall? Yeah, it was a wall. Don't be silly, Blaze is waiting for you. You know, 90s video games had a lot of characters named Blaze, especially women. It's kind of weird. Eyeballs. Ruining my day. Ah! No premature accent, thank you. I like the happy little fire. Awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna save because I think it's straight, but it might be down. I know I have to get to like Q or some bizarre on this ladder. Nope. I believe this is it. Let's see. P. Q. Yes. Good. I think now they give you the prune job guys with the eyeball guys in this one. Okay, 
kind of wish they dropped something. But yeah, the way to figure that out is just trial and error. No hints. No help. Nothing. I hit a spear instead of him. No, oh, no, apparently I did hit him. Stop being stupid. Alright. Safe state abuse is required. The amount of health required to get through this game. Absurd. Alright, Q. Yes. Now it's time for one of the strangest bosses ever. Ugh, evil voodoo panda. Get the hell away from me through three eyes of annoyance. I'm surprised I actually beat it that fast. Blue platforms always make you think of Bonk's Adventure, and I expect them to like split open at any second. Video game logic. 